Welcome to Flow to Lay Low. This is our last class of the week, wrapping up virtual open house with some vigorous intermediate flow followed by a yin-inspired restorative rest. So you'll want two blocks and a blanket, any of those things that you love to give yourself support. If there's a wall nearby, you might end up putting your legs up it. So just get all the accoutrement you want to chill out, but before then we'll start kind of gathering energy, moving it through, breaking a sweat. So this class I'm offering in six weeks and 12 weeks. So you can choose to go the whole 12 weeks and then you get the recordings for an additional 12 weeks, or you can choose the six weeks and then have recordings for additional six weeks. Although I do hope you kind of want to continue to, the, to join us live as much as you can. But the recordings, you should know, the energy is still in there. We're still with you if you do it in the recording. Um, in this class, because I'm considering it intermediate, there will be less chit chat, less instruction, specific instruction, and a little bit more assumption that you have a, a strong foundation and you know the basic alignments. I'll certainly, because I can't help it, give uh, fine tuning instructions as needed, but um, I consider this class just like hit the ground running. I'm not going to explain why meditation works because you already know that it does and who cares why. Um, I think that's it. I just want for you a full Friday experience, a full kind of taking what is, letting it go, releasing into the weekend. Even if your particular schedule might ask the question, what's a weekend? There is that in life, but just know we can, we're still marking time and it's Friday and it has its own energy. So like I said, if there's an issue with music, please let me know using the chat box. We will begin in Vajrasana. So this is legs folded under. And if you have a block, it can be nice to put the block between your heels. Okay, so Vajrasana is sitting on the heels, or if you prefer Virasana, if Virasana is lovely for you, then you sit between your heels. But do make sure that your sitting bones, your pelvic bowl feels stable and supported. So that your, your tush should not be floating in the air. Now, send your ego out the door and arrive with what is. You're not here for me. You're not here for anyone else. You are here for your yoga. So I invite you now to close your eyes. Turn to your breath. Think about the shore of the ocean. about how the waves come in and the waves go out. Just contemplate the shore for a moment. The feelings of the waves wash over you with every breath. The salt water, the same material as 75% of you. Let it wash over and through you, cleansing as needed. Bringing the healing powers of water. palms together at your heart. 
let's chant Om three times. Deep breath in. Exhale all the way. Breathe into Om. your head to your heart. Lower your hands. Open your eyes. Rise up onto your knees. As you inhale, do a little back bend, palms up. And as you exhale, turn your shoulders in, tuck your chin, roll the head of the arm bones in. Inhaling, heart lifts, triceps sweep under, lift and the eyes are bright. Exhale, curve in. Twice more, just oil the joint of your shoulders. Next time you're in a back bend, stay. Triceps wrap under, look forward. Fingers come in, turn down, draw back. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands in front of you, shoulders back. Plant your hands on your mat. Engage your finger pads into your mat. See them there, steady. Inhale, soft heart lifted gaze, cow. Exhale to cat. Back and forth. Coming through neutral, transition to downward facing dog. Keep your underarms lifting, stretch through your hands. Inhale to plank, push the ground away, lower your knees, chest comes forward, knees, chest, chin, eight point pose. Lower your hips, stretch through your feet, hands wide. Roll your shoulders back, keep your chin tucked, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up again. This time look forward, lower. Third time, rise up. And lift your gaze all the way to the sky. Stay and breathe. Draw your belly button in. Lower down. Puppy pose. Hands walk forward. Knees walk back, move your chest down. From your hands, pull into your shoulders. Down dog. Step your feet together. Three-legged dog, inhale, left leg reaches back. Exhale, point your toe, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, come forward. Once again, three-legged dog, inhale. 
Exhale, lizard pose. So left foot to the outside of your left hand. Lower your back knee down. Breathe. On your inhale, straighten your back leg. Exhale, lower the knee. Twice more. Integrate, hips and legs to the center. Reach out. Runner stretch. Come forward, downward facing dog. Deep cleansing breath. Let the breath wash over you. One more breath. Feet step together. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Again. One more time. Lizard pose. Plant your foot. Lower your knee. Torso rising. Breathe. Let the back leg flow. Straighten as you inhale. Pushing into the feet. Exhale, lower. Inhale to rise. Exhale to lower. And once more. Runner stretch. It can be helpful here to drag your front heel back so you're igniting the muscles like an active stretch. So work the muscles of the leg even as you humbly stretch. Come back to your lunge, down dog. Step your feet together. Inhale, left leg reaches back. Exhale, knee to nose, belly button in. Twice more. This time all the way to a lunge. Turn to your side. So left foot turns out. Turn your back foot in and sink your hips towards your mat. Look over the left shoulder. Come back to facing forward. Down dog. Right leg up, breathing in. Exhale, knee to nose. Engage your core. And lunge. Turn to the side. Right foot turns out. Turn on the outside edge of your left foot. Sink your hips. Look over the right shoulder. Get everything unwind into the pose. Find places where you're gripping. Let it stretch. Come back to a lunge. Take care of your bodies. If there are too many down dogs, then skip them. Lower your knees. Same flow now. We'll end up in pigeon. Left leg goes up. Deep breath in. Exhale. Knee across to the opposite elbow. In. Reach. Exhale across. One more. Now turn that leg out, lowering to pigeon, or come onto your back, supine pigeon. Drag your legs towards each other. Tuck your tail, squeeze your butt, reach up. Cosmic head rest. Lift and let your head fall back, breathe. Let your memories of the ocean wash over you.
Stretch up high. Touch down. Down dog. Right leg go. Inhale. Exhale, take it across. Twice more. And turn it out to pigeon. Breathe. Hug in. Fortify your hips. Reach up. Stay or pigeon with cosmic headrest. Find the place where you have steadiness and ease and be there. Let your breath be the ocean washing over you. Stretch up high. Touch down low. Downward facing dog. Step the feet together. Reach your left leg up. Bring it through to a lunge. All right, plant your feet. Inhale, high lunge. Nice and wide. Good, now we let the lunge flow. Inhale, squeeze from your feet up through your hands. Exhale, descend, go low. Tail down. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Stay low. Keeping it low, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, return. One more of those. Coming into a side lunge, now touch down. Right leg turns up, heel to the floor. Move your body through to the other side. Good, turn to face for lunge. Downward facing dog. Other side, right leg reaches up. Exhale, bring it through to a lunge. High lunge. Strong roots here. Flowing upper body, inhale. Exhale, deep. Shoulder blades back and down. Stay low, warrior two. Reverse twice. Coming down to a side lunge. Flip your left toes up. Lunge. Transition to the other side. Turn to lunge, right away, root down, rise up, inhale, deepen. So you go through that again, see if you can forget the thinking a little bit and go into the familiar, right? Your body has done this once, your mind has done this actually twice. Stay low and open, reverse. Once more. Side lunge. Broaden the inner thighs. Transition. Turn to face. Lunge. Last time, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, descend. Twice more. Keep support in the low belly. Pinning the navel to the spine. Stay low, warrior two. Two reverse. And side lunge. Other side. Turn to face your left leg. 
Step your back foot forward, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms together. Take a deep cleansing breath. Feel your feet, let a sense of calm wash over you. Notice if it's hard for calm to wash over you, don't judge, invite calm. Even as you're working, three rounds, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, length. Exhale, bow. Length. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, Adha Mukhishwanasana. Breathe. And bend your knees, step or hop, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms together at your heart. Stay and breathe or just one breath before we go into round two. Inhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe. And come forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, stay. Or take yourself through one more round. Don't let me rush you. You can catch up anytime. Sometimes the ocean isn't calming. Sometimes it agitates. Let's take a moment and have our tantrum. So you could think of splashing in the water here, shaking it out, being more playful. <sighs> You've done a beautiful job of calming. Now from a calm place, can you shimmy shimmy cocoa pop? <sighs> and let that settle. See how you feel. All right, in honor of our new moon, time of letting go, releasing, establishing new habits, like yoga on Fridays. We'll do moon salutation. Inhale up. Exhale, crescent. Reach, 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 reach. Inhale, rise. Exhale, crescent. Squeeze your legs, reach, reach, reach. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, crescent. Inhale, round. Exhale, crescent. Good, rise up and step open to five-pointed star. Nice and wide. Inhale, stretch and reach up and open. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend. Go twice more. Root to rise. Let the descent happen. And now play. Again, swing your hips. Swing your arms. Let your shoulders go. Check your head now. Right now, what if you were doing this underwater? There would be a little bit of resistance. What would it feel like to have resistance as you move side to side? Right, you're moving your energy around and through, but your legs are so planted that you don't fall, even if you tip. This is a little departure from the classical moon <laughs> salute, but that's okay. All right, gather it again, five-pointed star to warrior two. Nice and wide. Now bring your left hand to the inside of that ankle, right arm alongside your ear, but you know forearm is always a beautiful and respectable place to stay. Twist to the sky. Lean back like cosmic headrest. Half moon rising. Ardha Chandrasana. Steady. Reach through your toes, return to warrior two. Straighten that leg. Trikonasana. Triangle. Fingers to shin or floor. Your bones are set up. Let your muscles, tendons, fascia, everything just be here. Root through your legs. Inhale to come up. Turn all 10 toes in. Breathing in, stretch up high. Go gather some stars, the moon, all of it in the ocean, and plunge forward. How about a nice sigh with sound? <sighs> you guys aren't shy about sound. Let's do that again. <sighs> Bend your knees deeply, belly buttons in, slowly roll up. And step or hop your feet together. Collect yourself with a deep breath. Balance the movement and stillness. And open we go again. Bam, pop out. Inhale. Exhale, down. Whoop, belly buns in. In. Exhale. Just one more. Exhale. This time, balance in goddess pose. Whatever needs to work, work. But if it doesn't need to work, your shoulders don't have much to do to make you balance. Let them go. Good, stretch out, warrior two. Here we are on the right, if you're on the same side as me. Parjva Konasana. Extended side angle. If your arm is to the floor, put some pressure against your leg so you can twist. If you're panting, back off, slow down. Come back when you can control the breath, smooth and easy. Doesn't mean it doesn't increase, but we don't want to be out of breath. Hand to your hip. Ardha Chandrasana. Use a block as needed. You know what you need. Give yourself that. Friday is not the day we beat ourselves up and work on self-improvement. We are just here to release and have fun.
Standing leg is long. Turn it out more if it's cramping. Warrior two. Trikonasana. Root down, inhale, rise. Turn all 10 toes in again. This time, interlace your fingers behind your back. Go non-dominant hand on top so it feels weird. And shoulders roll back. Stretch your arms, lift your chest. Deep breath in, broaden your heart space. Belly buttons in, bow forward. Tuck your chin, engage your abdominals, pull deeper into the forward fold. Bend your knees deeply, lengthen through your crown, inhale to come up, and step or hop your feet together, big toes together, heels apart, breathe in, reach up, exhale to chair pose, shift onto your left leg, make your left leg steady as you bounce, hold your knee, come on up to balance. Keep holding your knee, left arm reaches up, open the door, take your knee to the side. Keep rooting down, bring your knee forward. Transition to baby dancer, not through a jasana. You can touch down or bend your standing leg, send your foot back, then extend out again. Focal point of the core, the pelvis. So from there, you're anchoring and extending arm, leg, head. Release. Palms together. Chair pose. Shift on to the right. Bounce a little bit. Just make that right leg come online a little extra. Then hold your knee, stand tall. So for me, I, maybe for you too, left knee is up. Hold it with your left arm, right arm reaches up. Your right side is like a wall. Open the door, take your knee to the side. Standing leg long, 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 long. Bring it forward. Stay or bend your standing leg, send your foot back. Natara Jasana. And release back to two feet. Step to the front of your mat. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Step to plank. It's the left side plank. Moderate as needed or modify as needed. Fortify along the spine. Change sides. Touch down, lower all the way down to your belly. Now take your feet in your hands or just bend your knees and reach towards your feet. Forehead to your mat. Let your feet hang to the sides as you hold them and breathe. Build from the bottom. So tail moves down. Engage your core. 
Bring your legs, shins parallel. Here we go, Don your asana. Take your feet to the sky, draw yourself into the shape of a teardrop, or how about an ocean drop? We're just doing one, so don't feel like you have to save it for the next one. Really be in this all the way. If your mind travels, come back to the sense of you, one drop in a vast ocean, an important drop. One more breath. Then let it go. Turn to one cheek and breathe. Bend your knees, windshield wiper. Down doggy. Stretch the back back out. Mm -hmm. Step or hop, Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms together. Breathe. Now we'll transition from baby dancer to Ardha Chandra Chapasana, which is sugarcane bow by the light of the moon. I love using a block here, your choice. It's where you would put it for Ardha Chandrasana for half moon. Okay. Shift onto your left. Right hand reaches back, take your foot. If you're using a block, it's there to the left side of your mat. Not for Rajasana, baby dancer. Bend your standing leg, strong. Descend. Now tip forward, tilt, tilt, tilt. Foot goes up, hand comes to the block or to the floor. Stay or roll your right shoulder open. Open the hip and straighten your standing leg. Sugarcane bow pose by the light of the moon. Now either release or slowly come out by turning forwards again. Turn to face the floor. Pushing into your leg, rise up, baby dancer. And let it go. Whew. Good, how did that go? You got thumbs up out there? <laughs> I see, falling and getting back up. Good, good, good. Okay, let's try the other side. You know, this is, this is just playtime, playful. Maybe if you imagine if you're in the water, all that support, I highly recommend ocean yoga because <laughs> you're held, right? You can do awesome back bends and front walkovers. You can balance. Regather your composure. Bend your knees. Shift onto your left. I'm sorry, onto your right. <laughs> Take your left foot, baby dancer. Oh, call to mind maybe the image of the moon on the ocean. Let's start pulling all this imagery together. So if nothing else, you're treating your brain here. Bend your standing leg deeply. Tip forward. Touch the floor, touch a block. Stay or straighten your standing leg. Open the top of your body. Okay, standing hip crease really needs to pull back now. Really has to stabilize to help you open the top. Good, you can just release from here to warrior two or reverse course. So turn to face the floor, bending your leg. Good, establish all three points of your standing foot and rise up. Good, now you can let it go and release. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Whew. Clear off the sand that was there to help you. Good. All right, step to the front, uh, sorry, the back of your mat. Establish your roots. As you breathe and recover, find your way into your feet.
Turn your right thigh out, step your left leg forward. Feel those feet again. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, Parj Bhotanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, surrender, flow forward. Breathing in, warrior one. Parj Bhotanasana, straight legs. Surrender. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Warrior one. Stay. Palms together at your heart. Transition to warrior three. Shift forward. Turn your back leg in, hug the inner thighs, and bow. Yes, God is real, for he has watched and made me whole. Come back to high lunge. Touch down. Left hand to your left leg, twist your lunge. Really hug in and up to turn. Yes, God is real, or I can feel him in my soul. Touch down. Downward facing God. Slowly, one palm at a time, watching your hand go like you're making palm prints in the sand. Walk your hands back to your feet. Take your time. Be all the way here for this. Forward fold. Hands to shins, lengthen, breathing in. Exhale to let go. Root to rise. Palms together. Recover. Left leg turns out. Right leg steps forward. Hips are square. Breathe into the soles of your feet and open. The cleansing of the ocean water of our mind. Or your one. Parjvo Tanasana. Flowing forward. When the tide rises, inhale. When the tide recedes, full fold. Go on your timing. You know the pattern. time or the next time you're in warrior one just stay be the post you're a warrior in some way let that flow through you here and with humility bring it all back to your heart shift to your standing leg warrior three Uh, embrace the trembling of your body for all the good your body is doing. And if you fall like I do, just get back up. Uh, reach back to high lunge and touch down. 
twist the lunge. So right hand to your right leg, twist. Oh, that feels good in my butt. I got tight doing warrior three. Maybe you're like me. And touch down, downward facing dog. Look at your hands with appreciation here. Walk one palm at a time. The wedding march to your feet. All the way to a forward fold. Bend your knees deeply. Pushing into the floor. Slowly roll up. Shoulders back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Stretch your arms straight. Chest rises. And again, bend your knees deeply, bow forward, wrists overhead. Tuck your chin. Release your hands. Knees bend deeply. Curling in, slowly roll up. Shoulders back and down. Separate your feet comfortably. Drop a plumb line through the center of your body, right through the tail, pelvic floor to a, the space between your feet. Inhaling, arms come up. Gather all the work you just did. Press your hands to your forehead and your lips and your heart, your solar plexus, and down. Fold forward, then hands come up, inhaling, rise once again. Gather all that you did, palms together like a little present you give to your mind. Your sense of taste, tasting the salt water, the heart, and the air, the fire, your solar plexus, the waters of your pelvis, and the earth of your roots. Release your hands. Just be for a moment. into a yogi squat. For me, I need my heels on a blanket. I invite you to do the same if your heels come up. Once you're ready, inhale, reaching up again, and then descend. Pressing your arms out against your legs, hug your legs back gently against your arms. Let your tail drop. Find any modification you need to make this possible to do for a little while, which might mean sitting on a block. I'll demonstrate. Okay, so this is a fine way to practice a long malasana. Okay, so you can do that. Bring your left hand to the floor or towards the floor, right hand to your leg. Do a little cobra action, so chest forward, roll your shoulders back and be a little twist. And so you can press your hand against your leg, revolve. 
Every chance you get, let your tail drop. Change sides. Put your arm against your leg. the center. Now bring your legs all the way together. So return to a squat, but this time your feet are together, knees are together. Hugging your midline balance. Challenge your feet, challenge your toes. Let that sense of calm wash over you. Bringing your mind towards an inner stillness, whether you can get there or not, that is the intention. And that's what matters here. Okay. We're invoking the calm of the seagulls as they ride on the air of the ocean. Reach up. Take your knees wide. Moving into crow pose. We're calling it seagull pose today. So bow forward. Slide your hands back. Look forward. Look at the horizon. And then lift your tail feathers up high. Lean, squeeze your midline, bend your knees and fly. Grip your mat with your fingers. There's a cobra in this pose. Cobra your chest, look forward and up. Lower down. Have a seat, feet together, knees apart. Rock side to side a little bit. Letting go. Shake your head no. Now spend a little time here softening. Okay, you've done good work of lifting and engaging. You had to to fly just now. Place one hand on your belly and breathe down into your hands. Let your body relax into your palm. You might like to have a block under each knee. Okay, so you can kind of play with that idea. So if you feel tense in the hip flexors there, then giving your knees that support can take that tension out. Okay, you don't have to, but you can build this little cocoon and then breathe, relaxing your belly. Right in your mind's eye, travel down, relaxing the area of the sacrum. The pelvic bowl, the space of the womb. To the pubic bone. Relax all muscles and organs reproduction, of elimination, everything released. Once you feel that you have let go as well as you can, let this area becomes tight with a life of sitting that we have right now. So give yourself all the time you need to relax. And when you feel that that is as relaxed as you can go, only then you begin to inch your body forward. You start to feel something tense up to protect. Back off a little bit. Breathe and let it relax again. There is likely tension around your tailbone you're not aware of, so sense some loving relaxation there. As you breathe and stay relaxed, your belly's going to hang out, and that's just fine. Let your body humbly fold. No need to rush. You wonder if you need to stay long in your body. We're allowing the body to fold and the head to be heavy.
when our body becomes more still, the idea of chitta, vritti, narodaha becomes more difficult. Yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. And my teachers would say, this does not mean your mind ever becomes still, but narodaha is the ability to put your attention in one direction for a sustained amount of time. You can place your mind back to the image of the ocean or a place of stillness in your heart or where you to connect to source. And whenever your mind invites you away, come back to the image, the connection or the breath. Each time you go away in the mind is a chance to return. Embrace that lovingly. your hands to help you slowly roll up very slowly just stack yourself back together very slowly one piece at a time once you arrive sitting notice how you feel Now use your hands to slowly bring your knees together. Okay, everything is kind of released in the pelvic bowl, so we really want to be tender and sweet here. If you have a block, place a block between your knees. If not, just hug your knees together, or maybe put a blanket or a stiff pillow between your knees. Try not to move too much to go get it. Now keep hugging the block. Lean back on your hands, fingers pointing towards your hips. This bothers your wrists, of course, turn your hands out or come on to fists. Deep breath in. On your exhale, draw your low belly in and up. So don't even pick up your hips yet. Just imagine you're picking up your hips. Good, so inhale, you can let that go. But on the exhale, squeeze the block a little bit and imagine your butt stuck to the floor, but you're trying to pick it up. Do that a couple more times. The inhale, you relax and release. Exhale, pull in and up, low belly in and up, squeeze the block. We're fortifying first and second chakra here in a new way, in a healthy way. Now keep the integration, squeeze your bum more and lift your hips to reverse tabletop. You can look forward just to the ceiling. Squeeze the block, stabilize. Good, and lower down. Extend the legs in front of you. Now, if you have two blocks, bring them over to one side. So let's go to the right side. Now come onto your back and bring your knees into your chest. Now place your hands on your knees with your fingers pointing towards your ankle. Okay, so your hands are glued to your kneecaps. As you inhale, move your knees away from you, letting your bones rest into the socket. As you exhale, draw the belly in and hug your knees in closer. Be sure and relax your shoulders and face as you do. 
slow apanasana, inhaling knees away, exhaling slowly comes in close. The next time they're in, place one block or your blanket between your knees. Take your hips over to the left a few inches and knees come over to the right. Now I'm suggesting that you support this twist with the block. But you might enjoy more sensation. So if that's the case for you, just remove that lower block, keeping one block or blanket between your knees. Stretch your left arm open. Slide your right shoulder blade out from underneath you and rest here in a supine twist. With every exhale, let your bones and your muscles let go a little bit more. Hug the block firmly, draw your belly button in, lift your pelvic floor, stabilize. Then slowly bring your legs back to neutral. Feet to the floor, hips in neutral, just take a breath. Let fresh blood and fluids enter those organs that were constricted and bound. Let them come in clean and heal. Prepare your props for the other side. And hips over to the right. Knees come in and over to the left. And you go left shoulder blade, that left shoulder blade out from underneath you. Breathe into the right ribs and then let it all go. <sighs> There's certainly other things you could be doing right now, but this is all you're doing and this is profound. You need to wash yourself with the waters of the ocean. Taking away tension, unwanted patterns and habits, accumulated toxicity, and memories that don't serve us. Let your breath, an image of water clean as you twist.
Begin to embrace your block firmly with your legs. Engage the low belly, draw your inner organs in and up. Transition back to neutral. Release your feet to the floor. Place your block to the side. As you inhale, reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, bring your knees to your chest, lift your chest and head off the floor, hug in. Inhale, stretch your legs out long, arms overhead. Belly buttons in, exhale, pull in. Twice more. Rock side to side a little bit. Release your head back, supported bridge. Or if you would like to bring your body to a wall, then you could do legs up the wall. I'm gonna offer supported bridge for those of us who would like to feel some openness of the front body. Okay, so you could do supported bridge or supported shoulder stand with legs up the air, uh, in the air. Or you could do this pose at the wall. We'll be here for about three minutes. You see how everyone's settling in. I will hold time. So you don't have to.
Slowly begin to let your breathing deepen. If your legs are in the air, bring them down to the floor. If your legs are up a wall, bring them into your chest. If you're in bridge, slowly lift your hips, remove your block, let the hips return to the floor. And lovingly draw your knees into your chest. Reach your right arm overhead and roll to your right side. Your arm will become a pillow. Roll all the way. Turn your body towards the floor and rest here in the fetal position for a few breaths. Let your body surrender to the earth. One time or another, we were all healed well at one time. <laughs> we were all held in the waters of the womb of our mother. Let yourself be held here. Whether you connect that to Mother Earth or your own human mother, be held here. With your left hand on the floor, slowly press into the floor, roll up through the side body. And your left leg forward as you bring your right foot to your inner thigh. Support yourself with blankets underneath as needed. A gentle Janu Shirshasana. Have a block nearby as needed. Turn to face your extended leg, just as we did before, humbly fold. You walk your hands toward your foot as best you're able. Maybe they just come down your shin, but wherever you are, find a place to be and rest. If you have a block, then you can bring a block to your forehead, right, to support you. So many different ways to play with this. I'll invite you to my favorite is to have the block here, my forehead here. But if that's overly, if that's too much, then you can stack blocks, right? And just let your body be here. So set yourself up in the pose, and then you might notice as time goes on, you reach a point of discomfort. And I'm gonna encourage you to stay with it. To stay with the sensations of your body, to breathe into and through the discomfort. Thank you. 
Draw your hands back, support your body by drawing your navel in and slowly come up. Pause in Dandasana, legs together. And transition when you feel ready. The right leg opens, left leg folds in. Again, using blankets to support you as needed. Turn to face your extended leg and surrender your body forward, finding a comfortable way to support your forehead. You might notice one side is easier than the other. This is normal. We are not living a symmetrical life. <laughs> Let's let that go. Okay, so you might need more support here. This is fine. Stay with the sensations in your body. Without fighting them, get curious. Let your calming breath and the image of the ocean soothe your body's tension. On your navel back, use your hands to help you slowly roll up. Then both legs forward in Dandasana. Hugging your legs in, push in with your fingers, rise high with your heart. Now ask your body, please. Would you prefer to sit in meditation, lie down in Shavasana, or lie on my belly for Shavasana? Any last movements you would crave and get yourself into a lovely position to meditate for the last few minutes together. There's no right answer here. your attention to your breath. Call to mind once again the image of the ocean shore. See the tide roll in 
pause and return to the ocean, building power as it crests and returns to the shore. Watch this pattern in your mind's eye. Water in, water back, building, pausing, releasing. Pausing. And now match your breath to the pattern of the ocean in your mind. Breathe as if you are the ocean at the shore. Stay as long as you like. Allow yourself to begin to breathe more deeply. Bring your mind back into the sensations of your body. You can wiggle your fingers and toes. And if you're on your back, lovingly draw your knees to your chest. And your belly, go to child's pose. Roll to your side, pausing briefly, and acknowledge a new rising, a new you as you come back to a seated posture. Let's seal our practice in the sacred syllable of Om one time. Breathe in. The calm power of the ocean in me bows to that same calm power of the ocean in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your flow and I hope I get to see you every Friday. If not, I hope you enjoy your recordings. Start to choose what classes you want to incorporate into your fall season. Now I'm gonna stop recording and open up for questions, comments, considerations, and chat.